Friends, family, and guests, please rise for our faculty and our graduates. Welcome everyone. You may be seated. Good morning. My name is Abigail Davidow and I am honored to welcome you all to the 2021 Fall Recognition Ceremony. I would like to congratulate all of my fellow graduates on all of their accomplishments. Can you believe we're finally here? It's incredible to think how much has changed since I first visited this campus. From my major to the world as a whole, I never could have predicted how it would turn out. Through it all though, one place remained as a constant foundation, and that is our home here at KU. I believe each of us spend our time here building our own unique home on the hill. The university initially provides us with a floor plan for our time here, and we provide a foundation of our previous experiences. From there, we began to build up our individual houses, and let's just say some of us, myself included, may have completely switched floor plans even a couple times in the middle of the process. The structure of our house was created with the courses that we took and the knowledge that we gained. And the rooms are furnished with our experiences and organizations, communities, clubs, and other extracurriculars we participated in. Eventually, we started to make additions to our house in the form of our favorite spots around campus. This can look like anything from a favorite study spot in Anschutz, to your favorite spot to eat in DeBruce, 
and even to the study room and spa where we spent many hours with friends trying to cram for tests and meet project deadlines. I know that I personally consider the computer hall in Eaton to be my second home with as many hours as I've spent there over the years. Now what truly transforms these houses that we built into homes are the people we invite into them. The people we meet throughout our time here are the ones who help us fill our homes with joy and laughter and repair it when storms come and cause damage. As we all know, our houses have experienced the relentless storm of the pandemic, but finally being able to welcome friends back in has allowed our healing process to begin. I know I would not have as much of an attachment to my home at KU if it weren't for the amazing friends that I made along the way. I hope that as you look back at this home you've built, you see that it might not fit typical standards, but that it perfectly fits you. Although now it's time for us to search for new houses. No matter how far we fly from the nest, our home on the hill is permanent and will always be a safe place for us to return to. But now comes the fun, exciting, and honestly a little bit terrifying part of this whole celebration, our futures. Some of you may already have plans for your future, while others may not. Regardless, the next steps in our journey will be an adventure and a chance to start fresh on the new foundation. I know all of you have amazing futures ahead, and I can't wait to see what everyone accomplishes. It may seem impossible that each of us here can change the world, but change has to start somewhere, and I think we can all use our personal and professional experiences to better the world in our own unique way. I would like to leave you with a quote that I heard recently. A couple weeks ago, I watched my cousin perform in a production of Holiday Inn, and one of the characters said, every now and then, it's a good idea to pause in our pursuit of happiness to just be happy. This quote really struck me as I was in the midst of preparing for graduation and writing the speech. All of us graduating today are taking a huge step towards our pursuit of happiness, but I encourage you all to not let this prevent you from Prevent, do not let your future plans prevent you from celebrating and living in this moment of accomplishment now. We have worked very hard towards this goal for many years, and we deserve to take time to pause in this achievement before rushing into the new and exciting adventures that lie ahead. Congratulations again, and Rock Chalk Jayhawk. I would now like to introduce the Engineering Student Council President, Eli Johannesson, for the presentation of the Locke Award. Thank you. As Abigail mentioned, my name is Eli Johannesson, and it's been a pleasure to serve as this year's President of Engineering Student Council. I would now like to present the Sammy and Carl Locke Award for Outstanding Senior in the School of Engineering. This award was established in 2002 by the former Dean of the School of Engineering, Carl Locke, and his wife, Sammy. This award is based on the student's academic performance in addition to their involvement in the School of Engineering. This year's Sammy and Carl Locke Award is presented to a senior who exemplifies the qualities of a model student in the School of Engineering. Outstanding academics, excellent research, strong engineering skills, and a leader in the KU engineering community. This student shows a deep understanding of classroom material, a desire to learn, and constantly impresses on challenging assignments. Despite the challenges of being a student during the remote learning semesters, this student built connections with their peers, formed and leading, forming and leading groups in class. This student is also instrumental in the honor society, Upsilon Pi Epsilon, revitalizing the undergraduate mentorship program, and they are responsible for a major component of KU's interdisciplinary effort to win the Department of Transportation's Inclusive Design Challenge. This senior will be graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Sammy and Carl Locke Award for Most Outstanding Graduating Senior for December 2021, Abigail Davidow. Thank you. 
It is my pleasure to introduce the Dean of the School of Engineering, Dr. Arvind Aga. Good morning and thank you for being here. Thank you, Abigail. On behalf of the Faculty of School of Engineering, I'm honored to welcome you to the Fall 2021 School of Engineering Recognition Ceremony. This marks our first in-person ceremony in just three days shy of two years. It is wonderful to be together with all of you today to collectively celebrate the achievement of our graduates. Today we honor those receiving degrees from the School of Engineering at the University of Kansas. We have several University and School of Engineering administrators here with us to share in this celebration. They will join the greeting line later in the ceremony to congratulate the graduates as they cross the stage. I ask them to be stand when I call their name and remain standing through all introductions. Graduates and guests, please hold your applause until we conclude the introductions. Mario Medino, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. Elena Sutley, Associate Dean for Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Belonging. Candon Tamiller, Associate Dean for Research. Rick Hell, Chair of Aerospace Engineering. Ken Fisher, Director of Bioengineering. Susan Williams, Chair of Chemical and Petroleum Engineering. Ted Peltier, Associate Chair for Civil, Environmental, and Architectural Engineering. Eric Perens, Chair of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. John Brickelmeyer, Director of Engineering Management and Project Management. Chris Fisher, Director of Engineering Physics. Heather McCain, Director of Information Technology, and Lisa Fries, Chair of Mechanical Engineering. Thank you, everyone. You can be seated. Thank you. Graduates, I think it's safe to say that your experience has been unlike any other class in the school's history. Earning an engineering degree under normal circumstances is not a simple undertaking. It requires focus, perseverance, and a lot of hard work. To arrive at this day in the midst of all additional challenges that come with a global pandemic is a special achievement, and you should be exceedingly proud of what you have accomplished. We are here to honor changed lives, profound success, and new horizons. Today represents a milestone and an academic journey you began many years ago. You've applied, you, have, you helped raise the profile of the KU School of Engineering as a world-class institution. We know your family and friends are very proud of your accomplishments and will continue to expect great things from you. Many of them are here today to celebrate this day with you. Each of them in some way played a crucial role in your transformation and it is important for us to pause and recognize them. They've shown guidance and support, including financial support, and endurance. They are, I believe, as proud of the graduates' accomplishments as the students themselves. Would parents, grandparents, and other family and friends please wave to be recognized? <laughs> There's another group that many years ago made the decision to be part of your education. This group too worked tirelessly and is proud of your today for your success. Our faculty and staff have many demands of their positions, but their first call is one of dedication to learning and service students. Would the faculty and staff in the School of Engineering please wave to be recognized. <laughs> Yet another group has been there for you, even though you may not know them by their name. IKU Engineering Alumni. Our alumni provide valuable support, financial and otherwise, to enhance the educational experience for students at KU. They also play a key role in maintaining the excellent world-class reputation KU Engineering has in Kansas and across the globe. Would all the KU alumni please wave and be recognized. Graduates, as you go out to lead successful careers, I ask you to remember what KU Engineering alumni have done for you, and that you emulate not only their drive to succeed, but their passion for and loyalty to the KU School of Engineering. As graduates, you're now alumni too, part of a powerful worldwide alumni network 
that strengthens KU and helps fellow Jayhawks in their professional and personal journeys. Graduates, you've worked hard. The engineering curriculum you have completed was not easy, and the hours were at times long, but the hard work has been worth it. There have been many good times, and there are special relationships that were formed during these years that will always be part of your life. Each of you has different plans as you leave KU. Some will remain nearby, perhaps Kansas City or Wichita. Others will travel to the far reaches of the world. Keep in mind and be proud that you always carry the banners of the University of Kansas and the KU School of Engineering. As you look to the future, I encourage you to never stop learning and never stop striving to better yourself and to give back to your family and society. Let me say in closing that if you set your aim high and stretch yourself, you will do more than you can imagine and you will succeed. Congratulations to each of you and rock chalk. We will now recognize each graduate. I would like to introduce the Associate Deans of the School of Engineering who will congratulate those students earning graduate degrees followed by those students earning undergraduate degrees. Dr. Mario Medina, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs. <clears throat> Dr. Candon Tamerler, Associate Dean for Research. and Dr. Elena Sutley, Associate Dean for Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Belonging. Please hold your applause until the last student has crossed the stage. It's my pleasure to introduce the graduates. First, we will recognize those completing doctoral and master degrees. We will start with aerospace engineering. Lucas Powell, Master Degree in Aerospace Engineering. Valerie Jordan, Master Degree in Bioengineering. Ankit Verma, PhD in Chemical Engineering. Bimisola Ojo, Master Degree in Chemical Engineering. Now we will recognize those completing in Civil Engineering, Civil Environmental and Architectural Engineering. Mark Schneider, Master Degree in Civil Engineering. Ryan Roland, Master Degree in Civil Engineering. Now we will introduce architectural engineering. Zainab Avshait, a master degree in architectural engineering. Now we will recognize those completing uh, their degrees in computer science. Lazarus 
Santagala Francis, master's degree in computer science. Uh, now we will continue with computer science. Matu Peduri, master's degree. Liketa Vimola Pali, master degree in computer science. Saimanu Deep Gadi, master degree in computer science. Ashvin Rator, master degree in computer science. Lidan Medu, Master Degree in Computer Science. Jordana Castro, Master Degree in Computer Science. Now we will recognize those completing their degrees in uh, electrical engineering. Those Edgar Ganon, Master Degree. Ahni Lukon Ki, completing master degree in information technology. Now we will recognize their degrees in engineering management. James Jones, a master degree in engineering management. Nicholas Raymond Munoki, Engineering Management, Master Degree. Bradley Lewis, Engineering Management, Master Degree. Chad Green, Project Management, Master Degree. Now we will recognize those completing their degrees in mechanical engineering. Nicholas Davis, master degree. Those uh, completes are graduates earning their master and PhD degrees. Let's applause together. It's my pleasure to introduce the graduates earning Bachelor's of Science degrees. And first we'll introduce those earning Bachelor's of Science in Aerospace Engineering. Zachary Schwab. Go ahead. <laughs> Bojang Xu. Shania Dorsey. And now we will recognize those earning a Bachelor's of Science degree in Civil Engineering, Carmen Snow. Grace Ann Miller. Mallory Gilbert. Madison Hockenberger. Shelby Williams. Hunter Holloman. Ryan Winkle. Lee Huang, 
and now we will recognize those earning a Bachelor's of Science in Computer Science. Ian Penrod. Jamima Abdul Hakim. Jordan Love. Katherine Ann Lucas. Jack McClure. Thomas Vincent Angles. Garrett Wolf. Thomas Gardner. Max Johnson. Yeah. Abigail Davido. And now we will recognize those earning a Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology. Golnaz Iman. Nathan George. And now we will recognize those earning a Bachelor's of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Nate Gaynor. Rajani Gardner. Clayton Sell. Tyler Anderson. Yeah. Matt Rieger. Hussein Al Sadiq. Christopher Jerome Arrington. Richard Santa Marina. Connor Sheehan. Homer Dula. Matthew Cherian. Joseph David. And Joshua A. Krejci. Let's all give a round of applause to our graduates for Bachelors of Sciences. Fellow graduates, our diplomas will be available by the middle of February. I know we will all display them proudly. <laughs> Guests, we would appreciate if you would please remain in your seats until all of our faculty and graduates have left the theater, then join your students outside of Murphy Hall. Please be aware that parking restrictions begin at 11 a.m. for today's KU men's basketball game. <laughs> Um, I would invite you all to please join me in singing the first verse of the Crimson and the Blue. The words are in your program.
Rock Talk Jay, 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 Rock Talk Jay,